And was the wisdom of the crowd what led you to accept? And I found this very intriguing. A 12-year-old founder of Quarters, a gaming currency to raise on Republic. I worked before AngelList for the founder of Sky Vodka. It's a vodka brand in the U.S. And he founded Sky when he was 77 years old. And he sold it six years later for $600 million to another company. The lesson working for him was that you can never be too old to be a founder, to build new things. 77 years old. Then the reverse got to be true as well, which is you can never be too young to be an entrepreneur. Now, of course, you're handicapped by a few things. Like if you're not 18, you can't really sign a contract. You can't even have a bank account. So you need people around you like guardians, you know, parents or whatnot. So of course, this founder of Quarters has a unique background. His father was very involved and is an experienced uh, entrepreneur and venture capitalist. But the idea, and he at one point may still be the most knowledgeable person about crypto who's still a teenager or preteen. But yes, I think the narrative there is that possibility. I not handicapped by time, by age, by any state in life for as long as you have a breath in your body and you want to pursue possibilities instead of security, anyone and everyone can do that. But yes, it is indeed about, in some way, the wisdom of the crowd is a manifestation of more possibilities than just venture capital.